Im Namen des Mondes informieren wir euch. Hey Moni, herzlich willkommen zu unserem nächsten Videointerview. Heute interviewen wir nicht jemanden aus den Sailor Moon Kreisen, sondern aus einem anderen Anime Kreis. Ihr fragt euch wieso, wir können euch die Antwort liefern. Auf der Anime 2014 haben wir die Mangakerin Naoya Yazawa getroffen. Naoya Yazawa ist hierzulande vor allem durch ihr Werk Wedding Peach bekannt. Schon seit Jahren herrscht rege Diskussion unter den Sailor Moon Fans, welche Serie besser ist, ob die eine Serie von der anderen abgefuckt ist und vieles mehr. Dazu muss man wissen, dass Sailor Moon und Wedding Peach viel mehr gemeinsam haben als nur das match für girl schema In unserem Interview haben wir Naoya Sawa gefragt, was sie über Sailor Moon denkt, wie Wedding Peach überhaupt entstanden ist und vieles mehr. Hallo und willkommen um to um, this nice podcast and of course to the interview um, here together with um, Sailor Moon German and Eggman de Bonaire we have the honor to interview Naoya Sawa she is a drawer a mangaka from Japan famous for example for a wedding peach but also she is of, has of course drawn other mangas too and we will today have a nice interview about wedding peach and her nowadays works. Um, the expert in Wedding Peach is the colleague here, so um, he, I think he will have the chance to ask the first questions to Mrs. Yasawa and afterwards I will then follow up. Hello, my, is, my name is Steffen. I am a press and reporter and photograph from Salem German. And um, I have the honor to interview Nao Yasawa um, about uh, her series Wedding Peach. And uh, so, Mrs. Yasawa, um, how would you inspired from uh, Western wedding dresses to draw Wedding Peach? Uh, er, I think you only knew it because Wedding Peach has a, a guy for the basic concept. And uh, when I got the um, actually, at first time I mm, uh, I got uh, involved with this project. I mean, a wedding pit project. I got the uh, plan as uh, the plan to meet us, hero draw, uh, road, and it was a uh, kind of we got a basic concept, something like a you know, a story about fighting bride. So, and uh, at the time, this is uh, how the, con the kind of the project involved the entire uh, magazine editorial part. And they, um, of course, and the Tomita Skehira and me, so, and the editor, and the three of us, is a kind of the meeting. And the editor offered me a lot of books for, uh, you know, the photo books of the wedding. And uh, the first time I started in detail the wedding dresses and of course we also have a uh, character designer Tadano Kazuko. Kazuko Tadano, she is a ceremony character designer as well. And uh, the, she drew the basic idea of the wedding dress and the characters. So that what I need to do is more, you know, when you draw it the manga, I need to do a modification because of this to make fit the manga. That's what I did. And the editor offers, uh, the editor offered me a lot of the photographs and photo books about the wedding. And the, you know, and I draw the rough sketches and show the editor. And he said yes or no, a lot of them, I do it again, so the things. Yeah, that's the, um, yes, uh, what I did. And because wearing peach, the concept, the first concept is uh, something for jewelry. Uh, Tommy Jaskehiro told me before that he was thinking about something, the girls' uh, magical fighting team style, something uh, different from Sarah Moon, but something the same genre. And in that case, he has um, no clue at that time. And when 
just happened to he came across the uh, idea of the send something for us, uh, sorry, something for on the Japanese female magazine. He read it about it. He didn't know had any idea about the something for, but he knew it and okay, I can use it as something for. And because something for is the wedding item, henceforth is that he read the wedding page. That's the why the we taking the wedding, the Western wedding style, because something for. Mm -hmm. um, yes. The other question is, you mentioned is the wedding peach work often have same stylistic like Sailor Moon. Um, how do you feel about the, that the fans of Sailor Moon say um, they like wedding peach? Um, if you have a look on German, Uh, the German culture, the Germany releases of Wedding Peach, we have uh, a lot of merchandise there back in the days and nowadays the fans also like Wedding Peach and often um, say that Wedding Peach is just a copy from Sailor Moon. How do you feel about that? Are you happy or say no? Yeah, of course I'm not happy. That, um, anyway, As it's very, very similar, as a wedding page and Sailor Moon is very similar, because the, uh, a lot of the same people involved in the both of project. And Sailor Moon, Tomitasuke Hiro is the uh, chief scenario writer on animation. And of course, Tadano Kazuko, she is a um, character designer with Sailor Moon. And uh, that's from the first, it um, has a lot of similar part of with the Sailor Moon. And what I have, have to do, I mean, uh, my work is make different from Sailor Moon. Because those two guys are uh, too deeply involved with Sailor Moon. So I admit a lot of things the same. And the setting, a lot of things. When, uh, um, Tommy the schedule thought it not the um, speciality of the Ramon, kind of the uh, formula of magical girls. So he did a lot of things the same. And in a way, it's true, it's kind of the formula. Ceramon is kind of the sort of big influence, get the big influence from before uh, magical girls story or uh, sort of uh, Sentai kind of the Power Ranger style, kind of the, with the, uh, the first one is a uh, Go Ranger sort of thing. Yeah, it's very, very, you know, inspired. It's kind of a combination of the magical girls and the fighting, the uh, Power Ranger stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so, yes, put me involved is make the entire story different because I'm totally unfamiliar with this magical girl field. So I did what I think you know, I did what I need to do and actually there is a little difference between the serum and uh William Pete and I'm really pleased that some people like love both of the series like yours. And of course, some of them don't like it. I, I don't know, actually, its taste is deeper, and of course, not so, uh, you know, it's okay you love the lemon and you don't like or you hate wet and peach, but your taste, it doesn't matter. But a little bit, uh, you know, a bit stressful when you, you know, I actually, I didn't, um, I, I mean, I'm not in, I wasn't in the, uh, the uh, fan stream in the West during the broadcast or the book published because there is no internet or no SNS, so there is no way I can connect with the fan, with the fan or anti-fan directory. But when uh, I did the work in Japan, I got a several blackmail style, actually, is. Uh, Uh, sort of, uh, did you get the, uh, agree with, uh, the writer of Sailor Moon and sort of things and a lot of, and you shouldn't do this or you can't do that, sort of things. And 
every time I say it, you know, uh, say to Tomitasuke Hiro, it's not my, <laughs> I didn't do it because the, I, it's not my idea because from Tomitasuke Hiro's idea and I think poetry is really good and I say I really enjoy the story. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so some it is a um, pity as the people call it that they work the copyright, and I hope uh, the people that hate it, it wants to read it, and it's okay if you don't like when you read, but without reading, say just as a copycat or uh, it's not uh, sort of the um, worthless things. It's a little bit. Uh, well, unfair. What I can say is um, back to our childhood uh, after Sailor Moon have this final air on TV, uh, we fans need something like that. And then came Wedding Peach on air and yes, everybody says this is the new Magical Girl series who remind us to this lovely um, story about Sailor Moon and yes, as you said, I think the people must first view the whole series to uh, check that this is not a copycat. Okay, this is a same stylistic like the Magical Girl themes and but this is in any anime series like Cardcaptor Sakura or Maroka Magica, they are these styles. But um, do you are aware that Wedding Peach was so um, famous here in Germany this back in the days? Do you know that? Actually, I didn't know until the Emma invited me at the 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my first uh, convention in uh, outside Japan. That was the first one, 2002, in Germany, Animagic, it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the for the my attendant, I need to know, I needed to know, ask as a, get a permission from the shogakkan, as uh, my uh, Japanese publisher with the William Pitt, and I visited the uh, publisher and talked with the editors, uh, chief editors, and he said, "Oh, well, I didn't know such the William Pitt is uh, the popular in Germany." And I, I think maybe the German, mm, yeah, the, uh, later on the wedding page uh, translated or, uh, you know, on air than uh, several country outside Japan. But I think, yeah, and German, Germany is more as the most welcome wedding page mm -hmm. in, in the world. Okay. Yeah, I was amazed and it's very, very, yeah. Please, I think it may be something similar with Japanese. I don't know, but uh, yeah, German people love the reading pages, uh, and maybe most in the world. Okay. So, do you do you love to come again here in Germany? For example, at the summer you are again in Austria, so you like the country. Do you? Do you like the country Germany, the Austria, or just your opinion on this country? Yeah, who, who can hate uh, the people you, who love you? Of course, uh, definitely I love this country. And, um, well, I visited in Germany uh, for the convention, was with... Uh, Sometimes for convention, sometimes for just a, um, you know, a trip, a personal trip, and uh, both of time that I really enjoyed my stay here. Yeah, it's very nice. I I love German or uh, oh sorry, it's very yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, you have some? One or two questions more about Wedding Peach I itself, or...? Yes. Yeah. Um, 
some fans um, have the question um, why is Sailor Moon, um, Wedding Peach not continued um, like Sailor Moon uh, Sailor Moon has 200 episodes and Wedding Peach um, has 52 thank you 52 and uh, four DX episodes yeah. and is it well, um, was it planned that uh, the series um, ended with 52 episodes Yeah, it's just a simply financial problem. You know, um, have you ever heard the Japan economy bubble? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, when the wedding period started, the bubble that blasted. So we really have fun, uh, the very, very hard we got sponsored for anime. Because, uh, you know, the bubble already finished, so many toy companies don't like to take the risk having an animation and uh, so actually in a way we are lucky Wedding Pitch can get the sponsor for the toy company and the broadcast we can do somehow the broadcast and uh, after we can make the f there's only four episodes but still the original video I uh, needed the budget and yeah and if if it was a very Yeah, as more popular, it could be more episode. Just as some financial problem. Financial. Um, after Wedding Peach ended as a manga and anime series, you you may also other more manga series and so on. Um, for example, since 2010, you were um, publishing at the digital manga publishing contract for example the manga moon and blood um, um, so you went away from the old system to a to e-manga e system to an electronic manga system what were the reasons for this change uh, you you may know about e-book e yeah. yeah. actually I prefer uh, Uh, the um, printed uh, uh, actual book. I think that almost all of the manga fans agree with me. But um, yes, again, the financial matter. You know, the actual print, you need, you need the uh, uh, warehouse, you need to know cost, the printing, much stuff. So uh, the publisher moved on the uh, their uh, mainstream to ebook. Ebook is uh, easy and the very low risk. So I don't think if it is a good thing it's for artists themselves because um, you know a drawing because uh, ebook I mean uh, reading among on the screen or a smartphone a little bit uh, you know not uh, the same as the print, not clear as print, not in detail as the print. So, but the, uh, you can't, uh, yeah, you can't help it. So, and one more thing is this uh, ebook is just one good thing is for artists because um, the um, threshold for publishing is lower because of the, um, you know, at low risk for a publisher, so they can agree with publishing with you know, very easily. And at the same time, the artists themselves is kind of the kinder direct publishing, but like that, they can publish their own things. So it could be nice things as a book, but personally, I prefer printed ones, and especially the manga. As manga is um, constructed, uh, composed to be seen open spread page, yeah. two pages. So, and uh, all the frames were 
calculated and designed an entire two spread pages. So if you read in a small screen, maybe you magnified and uh, uh, when you read or even uh, one page by one, one by one pages or in the, maybe uh, iPad or so like this. So it will be difficult to open spread pages. You need a big screen or like uh, iPad, not iPad mini or Kindle or some things. So that's the, yeah, I definitely prefer the branded book. Maybe um, technology getting better and better rapidly. So one day, maybe some kind of the, uh, ideal ebook could be true, but not yet, I suppose. Thanks. Um, your manga, Moon and Blood, for example, is a, it's a really nice story about. Um, three, four characters, uh, a vampi vampire, yeah. lowly girl, um, and his, her slave, <laughs> um, a male, and um, a, a girl who fell in love with him. Um, how, where do, did you get this um, idea of this story, Freddy? Actually, we manga artists get order from the publisher. So the, my publisher, uh, Digital Manga Publishing, um, asked me something about vampire. They said because vampire is very popular mother in the uh, United States. And the, though the order is it should be about vampire and uh, it should be a love comedy because it is short manga. And should be um, the vampire should be a uh, cool, blue blooded. Something, some uh, I have to grab type or anyway, and kind of the very and good looking of course, and it should be happy end. That's what I got. Though anyway, they wanted to the um, they want me because I'm a Japanese manga artist, so that's supposed to be the field I'm in uh, the place in, in sitting in Japan. Anyway, so it's according to, you know, automatically it should be a high school, a, a young boy and a young girl of story. So, and uh, they said we, uh, it could be one person or two person, whatever, it's okay as long as one, one of the vampire involved. So, anyway, I was thinking about a guy, should be vampire, young, 17 around maybe. So automatically there should be the girl who should fall in love with him. Automatically in you know, a high school student, a man the same age. And not case because, you know, I am a manga artist, Japanese manga artist, so you need something kawaii things. So sort of pet like the ma magical girl. Selam, uh, the cat there, and the uh, wedding peach as uh, Jamma P, something like that. Uh, pet there, so it should be. So I think um, a little girl might be nice, and uh, just happened to. It is a very coincidence. Just shortly before I was asked the uh, illustration for how to draw manga book, Ghostly Vampire. So it could be nice as a ghostly little girl. But maybe I, I, I know the uh, ghost story fashion is uh, very popular in the West, as, as like as Japan. And uh, of course, I already researched because of I got the orders before. So I chose the ghost story vampire, a little girl. And maybe the vampire, you will always vampire turn into the other animals, but for like, uh, you know, bat or wolf. I, I agree somewhere as a Tezuka or some manga vampire turn into wolf and bat. So it could be cat is not mm, cuter. And there is a cat. Um, according to that, the, and the little bump, little girl, little girl vampire, and because it's a vampire, you can be, you know, keep your uh, 
youth. So I think the younger one is uh, all older, uh, I thought. And the younger is older, it uh, could be very, very old, very, very strong one. And very old and very strong. So maybe it's a mother or vampire. That's nice. So it's uh, something like that. It's, uh, I, I call it uh, roaring ideas. Uh, so kind of the, you got a uh, threat, uh, uh, roaring and roaring and get an idea little by little. And because of the love story, you need the um, rival. So rival, maybe the battery opposite from the uh, hero. So automatically, uh, the puppy-like jolly guy that appears. Uh, one, one, last, one last question now. Um, you are also drawing, uh, you have drawn here the anime, animuk, and you um, have also a manga school there in, in Nakano, at, in Tokyo, where you also uh, teach students from all over the world drawing. What, is your, what do you feel was your mission with drawing, with this, with this uh, giving your experience to other guy, guys and girls? Yeah. I I, I thought it was a very good idea when I, I was asked. Yeah, just, actually, the first I was the, the, the guys from the school asked me as the ordinary teacher for, I you know, I suppose to have Japanese students as well the other teachers. But they happen to know, I happen to know I have experienced the workshop in, uh, in Germany here or in Germany and Denmark. I have had several workshops in English. So they said, uh, if, you, if I could do that, yeah, and I said yes, and, um, and eventually, it's because it, it was uh, very special, I mean, uh, other teacher didn't take the English um, class, so I'm more like in the concentrate the English uh, class over, I mean, uh, over overseas. And yeah, it was very fun, as many kind of people come. Some of them just one day, or some of them several, uh, day or, uh, several weeks. Um, thanks for, for the chance for us to interview you. Uh, I hope it has not taken too long. <laughs> I already get the notification that we should end. And um, arigato for the interview. Um, I have also some special thing from Salzburg for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for yeah, taking yeah, home. Yeah. And uh, thanks also to uh, Stavros Koyandras and to Steffen Nass. Steffen Nass for participating. <laughs>